Tonight, tonight, 214 Delawareans, 79 of them children, will sleep in a place with dignity and safety. They are cared for, they are supported, they are nurtured. My father, as some of you know, did prison ministry when I was a kid. And I had no idea how brave it was for him to welcome into our home a convicted murderer on furlough weekends until I had my own children. And my own daughter, who was here with me on Martin Luther King Day, asked the question with which I expect to be convicted at the gates to heaven. We were driving, and a woman known to many of us, who shuffles alongside Route 202, cold, wet, carrying bags. My daughter pipes up in the back seat. She's just five. She says, Daddy, Daddy, where is she going to stay tonight? And I said, Honey, I don't know. And she said, don't we have an extra bedroom? I said, yes, honey, we do. She said, well, why aren't we stopping to pick her up and let her stay with us? The years that I've spent with my church on Saturday mornings with Friendship House with her, pouring coffee or playing cards or chess or just visiting, aren't the same thing as opening your heart and your home. And so to everybody I see before me who has done so much, whether it's Dr. Gibney and the Lieutenant Governor who've gone to places at the very margins of our county and our society, whether it's the pastor or our county executive, whether it's Marcus who has led so well, or whether it is Carrie who's poured her whole heart into this, I am reminded, Nicole, <clears throat> as you were talking about the the hope and prayer and the excitement just before the auction of a dear old friend of mine, a man for whom I had the honor of naming one building, Jim Gilliam Sr., who every time I ever visited him would lean in and grab me and say urgently as if I'd never heard it from him before, when you see something wrong, act like it. Matt, with courage and determination, you and the people of Newcastle County Government, the County Council, those who lead and manage and drive your community services and your housing have seen that wrong, which all of us know all too well, that haunting homelessness at the very core of our society. And you've taken this moment, this budget, this opportunity, and you've done something about it. You challenge all of us. You inspire all of us. You let us see what it would be like when those who are, but for the grace of God, just like us, traveling a day or a week or a month without permanent housing, you've challenged us to see and imagine what it would be like if they stayed in a nice, beautiful, warm, safe hotel. So to all who've played some part in this journey, to all who've had the courage to look in the eyes of our homeless brothers and sisters and see them for the creation of God, the children of God that they are, thank you. Thank you for the boldness of your vision and your action today.